Here we have a 1967 RCA Victor model GH692W. It uses the CTC25 chassis and the TV had to have some repairs done to it uh, which I have the chassis right here on a cart and uh, we got the chassis working well it's ready to be reinstalled into the TV but the TV itself is not ready for a chassis and the reason that is because this CRT has cataracts and cataracts is a very common problem to CRTs of TVs of this age or any TV that has a bonded safety lens now what exactly is cataracts? Well, we'll take a look here, very easy to identify we have this delamination appearance around the perimeter of the CRT now upon first inspection you're going to think well okay all I have to do is pull the lens off and uh, you know clean it's probably just dust well that's not the case what there is there's a PVA material polyvinyl acetate which is a bonding material uh, clear of course that bonds the lens to the face of the CRT. Over time this bonding material breaks down most likely due to the presence of oxygen and the reason we got a problem is because the edge is closest to the uh, ambient air so whatever the case is uh, ambient air, oxygen, what have you has an impact uh, on the aging of the PVA material now some CRTs, the cataracts can be so bad where it can be almost the entire screen surface area. But obviously any type of imperfection in the face of the CRT is unacceptable, so just the slightest bit of cataracts needs to be removed. And how that's removed is by using a heat gun. We pull the CRT out of the set and we're going to preheat the CRT with a 500 watt halogen lamp, which I have right here. So what I'm using to illuminate the uh, set here and we get it to about 120 degrees approximately thereabouts and the reason we use the heat gun because or the um, halogen light it kind of gives a uh, initial heating procedure to the lens and it evenly heats the lens so when we start using the heat gun we don't have to start cold from one corner we already have a hot surface to work with for the most part Now removing the CRT is very simple. Chassis is already uh, out of the set obviously as we saw. But if you take a look, all you have to do is remove the uh, convergence yoke and yoke assembly and the degaussing shield and you just got to remove eight um, self-tapping screws to go into the die cast escutcheon. You remove those, you pull the CRT out of the cabinet, you're ready to go. And then what we're going to do is, once the CRT is out of the set, we're going to put it in an 18-inch diameter cardboard barrel with the lens of the CRT looking straight up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to use the halogen lamp here, and we're going to, like I said, keep it about four or so inches away from the face of the CRT. We're going to try to get an even heat distribution around the surface area of the CRT. So we're going to start that procedure right now. Here we have the TV uh, sitting on a furniture pad here to protect the front of the TV of course and we have the convergence yoke removed and now we can see all we have are two on each corner self tapping screws one screw on each corner holds the deglossing shield in place I already took those two out we just remove these Pull the shield off and pull the CRT off. Now with the degaussing shield removed, we have just the CRT and the support band that secures it. It's like a hose clamp. We just loosen that there and then we can take off the remaining bracket screws. Just for curiosity, you can see that this CRT is dated 6722. So, and being a highlight, this is the original CRT to the TV.
Now with these screws removed, we're just going to take this video for reference just to see how the original brackets are lined up so when we reassemble it, we can match it to as close as its original position as possible. You can see here, this is where we're going to place the CRT. It's a cardboard barrel with a metal reinforced ring on the top and the bottom. And it works great for supporting the CRT doing cataract repair. So we're ready to pull the CRT right now. And we'll just lift it out and put it in the barrel. And here's the CRT. It has been successfully removed from the cabinet. And now you can really get a better look at the cataracts on this. Now the first step, once the CRT is out, is to remove this tape. It's like packaging tape. It's on the edge of the CRT to the edge, or the edge of the CRT lens to the edge of the CRT uh, lens assembly itself. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take a razor blade, cut a strip on both sides about the thickness of the PVA material, which is about 3 16 to a quarter inch thick, and we're going to remove that tape. You can see how bad it is on this edge. And from our perspective right now, we're looking at this CRT, um, you know, as if this were the top. This is the top of the CRT when it's in the cabinet. So we're going to take the razor blade and cut that tape off now. Okay. What we do is simply cut around the entire perimeter on the bottom half. And we do the same thing in the upper half. Once that's trimmed, we just lift up a section like this and we just pull this all around. We won't spend too much time showing the rest of this, but what you want to be able to do, you want to get all the original tape off. You want to get it off the entire um, perimeter, both lens and the CRT itself. Because at the end of this uh, repair, you're going to basically mimic this concept. You're going to put tape back around the perimeter.